Well guys, Smilegate has done it once again. They released another Ice Soul Weaver limited unit, and you're going to see that her kit looks pretty crazy. So this is Frida. Uh, she has some interesting lore behind her. She is pretty waifu. Um, I think her design is pretty cool looking. And for summer unit, you're going to see that she's pretty powerful compared to some, some of the other summer units that we've gotten in the past. And she has an Ice Soul Weaver. You can see that these are her stats here. She is a Taurus if you want to start you know, saving your catalysts or farming your catalysts for her. You can start farming the Taurus Soul Weaver catalysts. And she is very, very fast, right? She's 117 speed, which isn't like game-breakingly fast, but for a Soul Weaver, that is very fast. Uh, her defense is pretty average for Soul Weaver. It's always going to be high for Soul Weavers. Health is like a little bit average as well. And you're going to see that she has pretty high effect resist, 30%, going up to a total of 57 if you actually memory imprint her. So very, very high effect resist and speed unit, which kind of signals that she'll be some type of opener, right? You're going to see that this is her passive. It is a passive ability. At the start of the first battle, you'll grant Oasis all ride pass to the caster and the foremost ally. And whenever an ally uses a soul burn, you get CR pushed by 20%. And this buff is undispellable, it will make yourself, so Frida, and the person who's in the front have their first soul burn be free, which is insane, right? This will work against Bellions, um, basically Bellions passive won't work against this because it just makes the soul burns not cost souls. It'll work with very powerful units like Noggle, ML Luna, and stuff like that. It'll just make her one of the best cleave support units in the game just because you are just allowing a unit to soul burn for free against Bellions, right? And this is going to be super powerful on just any opening unit, right? Like Ran can use it very well, Noggle can use it very well, Emma Luna can use it very well, even something like Briar, which is Saria, can use it well. Just so many units can use this passive super uh, well because soul burns in this game are usually pretty strong. So this will open up a lot of cleave drafts around her because you don't have to worry about Bellions and just have an extra soul burn to work with. So even like ML Ludwig would work with it very well. And even though this is primarily going to be a unit for cleave it looks like, I think for standard it's fine as well. If you just want to play standard but you want to pick a fast unit, if you pair this with Frida, very very good. And it's going to be even better because we have in World Arena ban protection in the third slot. So you can literally just pick an opening unit like Ran with a very powerful soul burn ability. And you can just pick Frida on 4 or 5, and they kind of have to banner because yeah, you're just giving one of the most powerful um, like opening units like a free soul burn, it's going to be super, super annoying. So not only will it be good for Cleave, I think it'll be good for Standard as well. Just this passive alone, this looks like a pretty crazy passive, right? Um, this buff is going to be insane. And she's also cycling while this is happening because of her secondary effect, where if someone soul burns, she gets CR pushed. You can see that this is a standard Cleave team, right? You have ML Charles, ML Ludwig, and then Noggle. Noggle's just gonna basically bind everyone and make it so that cleaving is super easy here with that free soul burn, even against Bellions. Uh, you can see like even against the Bellion team here, she's able to do this because of Frida. And just binding all these units basically makes you win against them, right? Next we have her S3. It's a one debuff cleanse from all allies and also a CR push and attack buff, which is insane, right? 25% CR push. AoE attack buff, you dispel a debuff. If you're against a unit such as like an ML Lilius, Conquer Lilius, you can just cleanse or dispel off the attack down buff from all your teammates. And there's just a ton of debuffs in the game that are just super annoying that you can cleanse off. Even against like Noggles, you can cleanse off that bind, right? And the animation here is kind of funny. She's kind of just like laying down. Um, anyways, this is basically what it is. You can see against like a ML Politis, who I think had the speed down on the enemy on her team rate. Let's actually look at this again. Yeah, so she cleanses it off, CR pushes everyone, gives them attack buff. Just very, very strong, right? It's just basically like um, DN's S2 and S3 combined, except it's way more offensive, right? So just a very powerful skill. And then we have her S1. It's a single target attack. CR pushes an ally with the highest combat readiness, except for herself, by 15% when you plus for it. And if you soul burn this, this actually changes the ability entirely. Uh, it doesn't give an extra effect, it just basically changes the entire ability. It turns into an, uh, I don't know if it's an attack, I think it's just a non-attack skill where you are dispelling one debuff from all allies, 
you're also giving them a barrier that will scale with your max HP. So I think it's a non-attack skill. It's going to change from an attack skill to a non-attack skill. And this will be another cleanse and a barrier, which is very nice defensively, right? And of course, the soul burn will be pretty much free because Oasis All Right Pass, this, this buff you get from your passive, is not only to the foremost ally, but also to yourself. So you can basically use this whenever you want, even against Bellions. So overall, I think pretty crazy unit, it looks like. Just because her S2 is extremely, extremely strong, even though it seems very straightforward and simple. Very powerful. Souls are super powerful, right? And then her S3 is also very powerful, right? It's basically like, um, like I said, like a more offensive DN S3. Kind of more akin to like a mid. And we all know when a mid was strong in the meta, she was really strong. And I think Frida is just a better a mid right now. So yeah, you don't get that skill nullifier, but you get a cleanse, which is nice. And you also get this really insane passive. So I think she's gonna be she's gonna be a very good cleave unit. And also, um, in standard for World Arena, you can pick her as well if you draft around it accordingly. And in Guild Wars offense, she'll of course be very strong. And even Arena offense against Bellion teams, very strong as well. And yeah, of course, um, yeah, that's her and her kit. I think she'll be a pretty decent unit, way better than uh, Festive Ada. I don't know if she'll be like super broken, but I think on paper she just looks very strong, right? This is her artifact, guys. Soul Weaver exclusive. At the start of battle, you'll gain 10 souls. Already pretty good. Souls are always good. And after an ally uses a soul burn, you have a chance going up to 100% at plus 30 to get 10 more souls. So basically, it's kind of like a book for uh, Soul Weavers. The only thing is, at plus 15, I think it's 75% chance to get souls, which is pretty crappy. So if you want to use this, you pretty much need this at plus 30 to make it consistent. Uh, but even the 10 souls is going to be fine, it looks like. So... Yeah, I think this is going to be very good for her, obviously, because, you know, an ally will get a free soul burn anyway, so you get 10 souls. Um, yeah, you, and then you'll get 10 souls, and then on top of that, you'll get another 10 souls. And if you have, like, a mage with book, more souls, and you just have free soul burns, it's, like, crazy. Um, yeah, just a very powerful uh, artifact. She's going to be super strong with ML Ludwig, just because of how, like, he works very well with soul burns. Uh, and also because she does as well, so... They're gonna synergize very, very well together. I think if you have him and you like cleaving, you definitely want her. If you just, you know, like playing World Arena, I think she'll be very good there. And who knows, maybe she'll shake up the meta because currently the current meta is like, kind of like turn two, play slow. But maybe Frida will be strong enough and I think she might be actually to kind of shake up the meta and make cleaving and aggression better because this passive is gonna be super strong for that, right? Um, yeah, even if you don't cleave, right? Like I said, if you pick Noggle with her, super strong, right? You get a free soul burn on your S3. A Noggle cycles very fast. She cycles very fast. And it's just going to be very annoying. And this attack buff is very strong as well. And who knows? Maybe if you actually like to play her in like a more standard comp, not like super cleave, but just aggression comp, uh, you don't have to run her own artifact on her. Maybe something like uh, Guardian Ice Crystals even might be okay or something like that. But we'll see. I think she's going to be a very strong unit. Uh, I might be wrong, you know, but I think people can agree just on paper. She looks pretty crazy, and I'm pretty excited for her. Let me know in the comments down below, though, guys, what you guys think about her. Uh, I think she'll be a very fun unit as well, and I like her design, so I'll definitely be pulling for her. And I think if you're watching this video and you're kind of wondering whether to pull for Festivata or her, I think you know, this unit is just way better than Festivata. Thanks for watching, though, and I'll see you guys next time.